Hello, I'm Dr. Ronald Hickman, and this is my story of how I transitioned from becoming a nurse clinician to a nurse scientist. At the bedside, as a critical care nurse, I would see patients and families oftentimes trying to struggle with the complexities of critical illness and try to navigate the system of understanding what to do in these very life-challenging situations. As a clinician, oftentimes I was armed with the resources to provide the clinically competent care that was necessary for the patient, but felt as if at times I was unequipped with the resources or the skills needed to help the families cope with the troubling decisions that they were faced to make. As a clinician, this was particularly bothersome and actually was brought uh, to the forefront because of some personal uh, tragedies in my family that occurred with having loved ones in, in the intensive care unit. Being unequipped as a clinician, I did what most scientists would do, is turn to the literature to better understand how can I support families in similar situations. Fueled by this particular motivation, I began to develop a program of research that, be, that, that is motivated by my passion to help families and patients make better informed healthcare choices. So my research has been focused on helping patients and families by implementing innovations using technology and personal coaching techniques. Early in my research career, I was focused on how to implement decision coaching in the intensive care unit. So what would that, what would that look like in, in a real context? Well, that would be a nurse or just any individual who would be willing to serve as a volunteer that would help to navigate the patient or family through the complexities of better understanding what their life choices could be. But more recently, I've focused on mechanisms using digital representations referred to as avatars to help coach these families along the decision-making experience. With the recent funding from the National Institutes of Health, National Institute of Nursing Research, we are able to test this widely across populations of the critically ill and to better understand the mechanisms through which we can support families to make better decisions for their loved ones. To continue our conversation, we've invited a few of our doctoral students to engage in this dialogue about what it takes to transition from being a nurse clinician to a nurse scientist. And so we're gonna take just a few moments to have this type of conversation. Dr. Hickman, your use of avatars is quite innovative. What future potential healthcare implications do you see for this technology? So the use of avatars is um, an innovation that we're just in the exploratory phases. But if we think about its promise, we know more Americans are using technologies people have probably on their possessions at the moment, a smartphone or a tablet. And so people want on-demand resources. And so the avatars are just one avenue to get the resources that folks need in the palms of their hands. And for our ICU families and patients, sometimes, some with these faced with these complex decisions, having the resources in the palm of their hands when needed most uh, can help to alleviate some of the emotional burden that is centered around some of these very complex treatment decisions. So the scalability of, of, of technology-based interventions we think could help to improve the nation's health. Uh, avatars may just be one avenue that will help to enhance the quality of decision making. Dr. Hickman, I know it's also very important for you as a nurse practitioner to remain in clinical practice. So how do you find a balance between being a practitioner and also advancing your research? Maintaining a clinical practice is something that is uh, very important or central to my, my personal my research journey. It allows me to ask the questions that I think are going to be most relevant to our patients and, more importantly, their families. It allows me to also hear the stories about what are the next, next things on the horizons that we'd be focusing on as nurse scientists. Uh, it, it also provides me a, a context and a clinical grounding that I not only bring to my research, but I also bring back to the classroom. So it, for me, being a clinician and finding that right balance between the two is something that you strive for. Sometimes you don't ever truly achieve the balance, but it's something that is truly important to me and I think was, was, has been important to my, uh, my research. Dr. Hickman, since we're talking about transitioning from the clinical area to the research area, what are some of the issues that a student may run into how would you overcome those? 
and what might they expect in the future as they develop their own research program? Great question. I think one of the first things that I think is a challenge for most uh, emerging nurse scientists is the fact that to depart a bit from uh, clinician thinking. And what I mean by that is just to be caught into the clinical context that we're so focused on the patient or we know our institutional's policies and practice, but to think much broader is a struggle for many clinicians and including myself at times. That when we put on our hat or transition to become the nurse scientist, thinking abstractly, conceptually, is something that at the bedside we don't always have to do. And again, I think this is one of the first challenges and, and, and one of the major obstacles in, in, in of growth for an emerging nurse scientist is being able to draw on the clinical context when needed, to wear that clinician hat, but also to apply it to our research content, which can be more broad, more abstract. And at, to, to some extent, that research hat, that broad focus in thinking, allows us to have much broader sweep of impact. So one of the challenges, Nate, that you bring up is the fact that it's pretty difficult to transition at times, but we can overcome those challenges. That through the coursework, through mentorship, you will hear and you'll be socialized to an oppor with opportunities to help you grow. Dr. Hickman, I know you talked about mentorship slightly. Um, I was wondering um, if you had any insights on mentorship, um, choosing a mentor, things along those lines. I know it's very important in, um, you know, going on with your research, so if you had any insights on that. And surely I do. Um, it's interesting that mentorship is, I think, at this point, one of the most crucial aspects of developing a, or becoming a nurse scientist, that I think the most important part of mentorship is being able to be self-aware about what your needs are and going after that in a variety of different ways. I don't believe that you necessarily have to have one mentor, that you may oftentimes have several. Your research mentor may be guiding you along the process, but you may also need a, a mentor, a friend, a colleague, someone who reminds you of simply how important it is to do the work. So mentorship to me means finding the right people to surround you create that positive peer pressure, as I oftentimes tell my students, someone that helps pick you up a bit and move you forward, even when you don't necessarily feel like you can move forward alone. So as a nurse scientist, as you've already heard, remaining clinically grounded is oftentimes very important. It is a major driver of the research that we do as, as nurse scientists, that oftentimes the body of, of nursing research is driven by the clinical context, and to divorce the two would simply leave us um, unable to tackle many of the challenging questions that are facing the nation's health. In my own work, and as you will see throughout this series, is that being a clinician is where we all, is a good foundation, where we all should start. And moving forward, bringing that clinical experience to tackle some of the tough research questions or clinical problems is extremely important that through this program you will gain mentorship and exposure to esteemed nurse scientists that have learned how to provide the mentorship that's needed, but more importantly, help you get to your endpoint of success.